Lawrence. I am like at this point, probably 60% sure based on some stuff, uh, Demis, uh, who's the founder and CEO of, Open, of uh, DeepMind, uh, based on what he said publicly, they're either have solved or are very close to solving the Navier Stokes equation. Which, it's, it's one of the Millennium Challenge problems. So uh, the Millennium Challenge problems are some of the largest, most important unsolved problems in math and physics. And they've been unsolved for centuries, uh, like the entirety of human history, basically, once we found them. Uh, so Navier Stokes in particular deals with, without boring people, it deals with fluid dynamics and fluid mechanics, okay? Uh, it's very hard to model fluid mechanics, whether that be like, you know, aerodynamics, hydrodynamics, like how water flows through things, how air flows around things. It's next to impossible. Uh, we, we have equations that approximate it pretty well, which is why you can have, you know, CGI and, and airplanes that work, that sort of stuff. But the second you actually deterministically solve it, once you solve the Navier Stokes equation, we now have like perfect command and control of all fluid dynamics which means suddenly problems that, for example, have kept us from fusion energy, right? So the reason like fusion reactors are very difficult and don't work yet is because getting the magnetic fields correct to contain the plasma that is in the core of a fusion reactor and have it be net positive, meaning it outputs more energy than it takes to start it basically, uh, is a direct fluid dynamic problem that is so complex, the world's largest supercomputers cannot solve it today. If you have a solution to Navier-Stokes, it is like trivially easy. You just run it once and it's done. Pr problem solved completely forever.